from the director of Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Adam and Barbara are ghosts. What's the good of being a ghost if you can't frighten people away? Their house is being haunted by the living. Maybe the house could use a little remodeling. And they can't scare them into leaving. It's dead. It's a little late to be neurotic. So they're calling on Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Who's no ordinary ghost. Yeah, you don't want his help. Can you be scary? What do you think of this? Now, the party's over. You want somebody out of the house? I want to get somebody out of your house. <laughs> but the fun has just begun. It's showtime. Learn to throw your voice, pull your breath, fun party. Not bad. This is amazing. Want a cigarette? Oh, no, thank you. Oh, yeah, here I come, baby. He's guaranteed to put some life... Attention, King Workshoppers. ...in your afterlife. Michael Keaton is Beetlejuice. And the ghost with the most, babe. Hello, everyone, and welcome to my movie review of uh, Beetlejuice which came out in 1988. Now, this movie has a huge cult following, and I don't understand why. I really don't. But, you know, I I have no problem with, uh, you know, people loving it. It's just that I don't understand it. Um, now, let me tell you a little story. I was about 10 or 11 years old, about that age. And I was a big fan of the cartoon, Beetlejuice, and I didn't know that there was a movie. I went to a video store nearby, and it was the closest video store to our house. And uh, the the second closest was like out of town, so I couldn't go there. Now I went to this video store, and it had a no renting policy because the manager wouldn't uh, he, he wouldn't trust the customers because a lot of customers would rent the movies but never return them, so he wouldn't trust them. And that is why there's a uh, no renting policy. And I saw it on the shelf and I was really interested on in getting it. And I saved up for like two weeks and then finally I got it and then I watched it. And to be honest, when I was a kid, I watched it and half of the movie I was bored. And about I slept for like, you know, 15 minutes of this movie. And when I woke up, it was still boring. And... Uh, I fixed myself a you know a glass of milk and you know, got me some cookies and went to you know w went to watch uh, continue watching this movie but it's just like it's still boring. There's nothing going on. I I you know I stay it kept being a loyal fan so I you know tried to keep my eyes open and uh, continued watching it. And I, uh, the 15 minutes that I missed were some good special effects and very dazzling for the time, but nothing to, nothing really that I haven't seen before, so it wasn't as uh, mind-blowing as, you know, as a, any, you know, as any other movie that I've, uh, I've seen with that much special effects. So, I was just bored. Whenever there was just this huge big special effects moment I was bored and I didn't like it and I, I I was really bored and the only character that I was I felt strongly towards and I was rooting for and I liked him was Beetlejuice played by Michael Keaton and I thought that he was perfect for that part he did a great job as portraying that yeah, that crazy character Real pals, you know what I'm saying In <laughs> My wife and I would like to ask you a couple of questions. Sure, 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 sure. go ahead, shoot. Well, well, for instance, uh, what are your qualifications? Ah, well, I attended Juilliard. I'm a graduate of the Harvard Business School. I travel quite extensively. I lived through the Black Plague, and I had a pretty good time during that. I've seen The Exorcist about 167 times, and it keeps getting funnier every single time I see it. Not to mention the fact that you're talking to a dead guy. Now, what do you think? You think I'm qualified? Well, what I mean is, can you be scary? Oh, oh, I didn't know you were asking me. Can I be scary? What do you think of this? <laughs> you like it? But in that movie was that he was gross and he was perverted and he was 
crazy, and it was just so, uh, he was evil, and I thought that was, that, maybe, uh, half of that, that statement, that half of the description that I just pointed out was Beetlejuice, but the other half was just completely wrong, he was not a pervert, he was not anything like that, he was, you know, especially if you have a PG movie, you shouldn't talk about that stuff, um, I think that he sh he was supposed to be gross. That was fine, but when he started to you know um, start to rape that woman, he was he didn't really rape her, um, but he's you know getting his way with her while Al Baldwin's character is just a a pushover, and he's like, and he didn't even react when his wife was being was being just you know choked to death by Bill Juice's tongue, and it was just like, come on, stand up for your wife, you idiot. And it was just so weird, and the, there was no direction in this movie. The plot of it was just a, uh, it, it was just a filter. It wasn't anything that, you know, that, that was, you know, talked about. There was nothing, it was just like, the first part of the movie, it was talked about the plot, but then, as soon as Beetlejuice entered, the, the plot was just, you know, it was just a whole different ball game. So, I really didn't understand anything that was going on, and plus... Beetlejuice was this perverted who was who would curse, and it was just so wrong that having cursing in this movie because it's it's supposed to be for kids. It's supposed to be targeted for kids. <sighs> but I digress. Um, the whole movie is just it, it's bad. It's really bad. I mean, I didn't. I didn't, even watching it yesterday. I didn't like it at all. Um. I liked Michael Keaton when he played Beetlejuice some of the time. Not all the time, some of the time. But other than that, nothing. Nothing at all that, you know, captured my, you know, my feelings and what, you know, I, I never was rooting for any character. And I liked the special effects to an extent because I like cheesy special effects. Um, I like the, the special effects from the 80s. I like that. That is why one of my favorite movies were uh, Starman and, you know, The Terminator. I like those movies because of, you know, the, those cheesy special effects. I like those cheesy special effects. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's nothing. Nothing to praise this movie. Nothing nothing I can say that I can that can help me recommend this movie, but if you ever want to watch this movie, uh, don't. If, if you ever happen to borrow the movie from a friend or... You know, you're watching it on YouTube or whatever. Just skip over the plot and just, you know, watch the Michael Keaton parts. That's it. That's the only reason that I'd have for you to watch this movie. Actually, not even the whole movie. Just, you know, skip. Just just skip. Um, all the way till Michael Keaton's parts. That's it. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. My rating for this movie would be a, uh, a 3.5. I think that's that's good enough because I like the atmosphere, I like the um, I like Beetlejuice, and that's it. I mean, uh, Tim Burton is great as crea as in creating atmosphere, and uh, and he he can you know uh, manipulate your uh, emotions by those uh, atmosphere. I like watching uh, the uh, the background, and yeah, that's pretty much it. And back to my rating, three point five. Oh, yeah, here I come, baby. The whorehouse was my idea.